Honorable Members of Parliament, Madam Speaker. Every Friday, the People's Representatives in the National Assembly of Zambia are given an opportunity to query the Vice President on various matters affecting citizens. During today's session, one of the key issues raised on the floor of the House bordered on the cost of living in the country. The people of Zambia are crying uh, in light of uh, the escalating cost of living and doing business in the country. This house, madam, being a house of leaders, should help to interpret the issues, to interpret the economic status of the country and the economic status of the entire globe so that we don't just live like, again, I'll use the word which I've used before, like an island, like we are able to do all things. The cost of fuel you have spoken about, yes, that is true, very high. But we have said it here many times over that there are things that are beyond our control. The vice president also dispelled assertions that government has only released the full allocation of the 2023 Constituency Development Fund, CDF, to constituencies held by UPND MPs. This was in response to a question from Wacha Member of Parliament, Sidney Mushanga, who wanted to know why government was allegedly discriminatory in the distribution of CDF money by only giving the full allocation for 2023 to constituencies held by UPND MPs. We are failing to use the resources at the rate that we would want. And as a result, those that have worked well are being hindered by those that have not done well. But the money is there. Mrs. Nalumango also gave an update on the distribution of fertilizer in the country. Government has distributed. If there is a challenge in the distribution from the depots to the farmers, I think it's important to talk about that. We don't want to go through the same era. But if something new develops, let us work together. The Vice President further spoke on the need for Zambia to be accommodative to other external parties with intentions to contribute to the progressive and peaceful coexistence among political players in the country. Masaoso, Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Saka. I think that is